Look now at a Senate race that just simply is not getting the attention it deserves. It is in North Carolina, where Democrat Sherry Beasley is in a very tight race with Republican Ted Budd. Beasley is a former state Supreme Court Chief Justice. Budd is a Republican congressman. The two candidates faced off in a debate Friday night. Joe Biden is on the ballot on November 8th. And he goes by the name this year of Sherry Beasley because she would be an absolute rubber stamp for everything that's led to this country being on the wrong track. The president and Congress could work a whole lot harder to make sure uh, that prices are being lowered. And Congressman Bud has been there for six years. And so he's partly to blame as well. Two North Carolina campaign veterans join us now to discuss this fascinating race. The former RNC communications director, Doug High, and Morgan Jackson. He's the chief political advisor to North Carolina's Democratic governor. Uh, Morgan, let me start with you. Uh, you say here, we remember, Obama carried North Carolina the first time because of historic African-American turnout in 2008. You believe with an African-American woman at the top of the ticket, it is possible, correct? I do. Listen, I think it's one of the things nobody's talking about in this race. As we talk about this race, nobody's talking about it nationally. Uh, this is the first time in 26 years that an African-American has led the ticket in North Carolina. The first time ever that a f African-American female has led the ticket. The last African-American to lead the ticket in North Carolina was Harvey Gantt in 1996. And so I think, as we've seen, historical uh, candidacies like this often have an ability to increase turnout among base voters, especially in a midterm when that turnout is so critical to success. Do you believe that Republicans should be more keyed in on this race, that it should be getting more attention? They talk about Pennsylvania. They talk about Georgia. They talk about Arizona. They talk about defending in Wisconsin. What about North Carolina? Yeah, I, I've been telling people for weeks and months, don't lose sight of North Carolina. The last three polls have had it at one point, less than one point, and less than one point. It's the closest race in the country, and obviously we're going to talk about all the kind of more cartoon characters in this campaign. You know, the, the running back, the TV doctor, the tatted up giant in the hoodie. But North Carolina is ground zero. If you're talking about a 50-50 Senate, this is a big, important race that isn't getting the attention it deserves. Uh, and so then, Morgan Jackson, to that point, he, uh, Doug says isn't getting the attention it deserves. But we do know from ad spending that is booked between now and Election Day, Republicans have booked $21 million in spending, Democrats uh, one-third of that. Uh, do Democrats need to wake up and send in more money? Can Sherry Beasley win if that's what happens between now and Election Day? Listen, Sherry Beasley has been outspent for the last three months by uh, sort of independent expenditure groups. I think Sherry Beasley can win this race, but what she needs, actually even more important than independent expenditure, she needs individual contributions. It, donors who, are, who have been contributing to all of these big Senate races need to clue in on the fact that North Carolina is where they need to be sending their money directly to her campaign. This is a race, you know, it's fascinating, John. As, as we look at all the races moving up and around uh, on the board, and North Carolina has stayed stable for the last two months, almost dead even. As Doug said, plus one, minus one for the past two months, while you see some tightening in these other races. This is a race that is incredibly winnable, but Beasley needs help from national, uh, national donors. Uh, so let me stick with you for a second uh, from the Democratic perspective. We heard the debate there, and obviously uh, Joe Biden is an issue. The president of the United States is always an issue in his first midterm election campaign. What else in the sense of from the Democratic perspective, if Sherry Beasley uh, in the four weeks left is to keep this competitive to the point that she can win on Election Day, uh, what do you see as the most important close for her? Well, I think it's a continuation of what Beasley's been doing. Beasley's been running a really good campaign that is a North Carolina-based campaign. Uh, the fact that there hasn't been a ton of money in this state over the last two, three months has accrued to her benefit because it's allowed her to introduce and, con and create a foundational relationship with voters that's based on her record as a judge, based on somebody who approaches things from an independent lens and uh, makes a decision based on law. And so I think that's what voters are looking for, somebody independent. I think Beasley has to take the wood uh, to Ted Budd and his radical positions. You know, we talked about Beasley being the first African-American in 26 years. Ted Budd is actually a throwback to Jesse Helms, the most conservative a nominee that a Republican to place to put forth in, in the last 26 years. It's an incredible contrast for voters. Uh, Morgan says incredible contrast. Uh, the retiring Republican senator is Richard Burr. Mm -hmm. uh, he says Ted Budd is far to the right in terms of the same thing you heard in the debate clip. Uh, Budd running a pretty uh, trademark midterm campaign linked the Democrat to an unpopular president. Is that enough? It's not enough, but what he's doing, and you learn a lot about politics watching college football, watching North Carolina play, I'm a Tar Heel. Uh, you see the ads that Sherry Beasley is running and that Ted Budd is running. He is running on crime, first and foremost. You, you talked about that issue in your previous panel. In North Carolina, you have a Sherry Beasley's a retired 
uh, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. You have two Supreme Court seats that are on the ballot in North Carolina. That issue is going to play harder in North Carolina than I think any other state, and Bud is going full in on that. Because they elect the judges there as well. Important point. Doug Hyde, Morgan Jackson, appreciate your insights. We'll keep in touch in these important final four weeks. Ahead for us, a former D.C. police officer releases tapes he secretly recorded during a meeting with the House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy after January 6th.